In this video, we're going to have a 10 minute taster beginner modern jive class. And although we go through the moves quite quickly here, if you'd like to look at them in more detail, we'll leave the links below and you can check them out on our YouTube channel. Hi there, we're Karen and Lucy from Ginger Jive and if this is the first time you've come across our videos we would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification and that will keep you up to date with all of our other free content. Now if you're going to take part during the class please check out the safety disclaimers either to the side or in the description below and then we'll jump straight into it. So our three moves we're going to do, they're going to look like this. So we're going to start this routine with a move called an arm jive. Coming out of the arm jive into a man spin. Finishing off with a whirlitzer. So the arm jive on its own, it looks like this. We're going to step back, we're going to twist left, we're going to twist right, up to the shoulder. We turn our partners and back, step into return and back. So the arm jive, it's a left-handed move. So guys or leaders, you're offering your left hand to your followers right. You can offer a back hand or flat hand. Back of the hand faces your partner, palm faces yourself, getting the thumb out of the way. Followers, you take your right hand over the top, bending the fingers down, and just gently drop the heel of your palm on the back of the leader's hand there. So we're in nice and close. Hands down at waist level and square on. To start the move, we're going to push with the back of our hand into the heel of your partner's palm as we both take a step back offering your right hand leaders as you take a step back. Now as you take a step back at this stage, at this level, you don't have to worry what foot you step back on. You could step back on your right, you could step back on your left, you could do a double step back if you wanted to. So it doesn't make that much difference what foot you step back on at this stage. From here you're going to step in, that's the leaders, and as you step in you're going to take your left elbow back and push through with the right and just keep your hands to the hips here. Don't go past your partner's hip or past your hip, just keep it nice and close and compact in front of yourself. From there we're going to take a twist as we pull back the right elbow as you go through with the left. Now just keeping this little bit at the middle here, as you pull back with the left and right elbow, you can just do a little side step if you want to. Don't worry about any footwork in, in particular or any specific footwork, you can just side step. Try to avoid just being on the spot moving the arms though if you can. Now the last part of the move is as we pull back with the right elbow, we then bring our left hand back up to the left shoulder as you go through with the right hand. From there I'm going to turn Lucy clockwise by pushing and raising my left hand. I can do a little flick as to, to help her turn as she turns underneath and it's not until we face each other we lower the hand and then take that step back. To finish the move, we're going to return our partners anti-clockwise so they don't get dizzy. We step in towards each other. We raise the hand just over the head until we face each other. And then we just lower the hand and take a step back. So as we speed this move up, it looks like this. We're going to step back. We twist left. We twist right up to the shoulder. We turn, stepping away, step into return and back. So adding on to our arm jive, we're going to add on a move called a man spin. Although the men don't really spin, we just step forward and turn around. So we're going to start off nice and close. It looks like this on its own. We step back, we change places, we slide and catch, we return our partners and back. And at the end, we're going to offer our spare hand ready to go into our last move. So the man spin is a left-handed lead, so once again we're offering our left hand to our partner's right in nice and close, hands down at waist level, and again square on. Once more we're going to push with the back of our hand into the heel of our partner's palm as we take a step back, and again, don't worry what foot you take a step back on. From here, I'm going to draw Lucy towards me by pulling with my left hand, but, and I'm going to take my right hand over the top. Don't raise your right arm so high that the elbow's flapping around a little bit that could end up hitting your partner in the face. Equally, if you have your arm down nice and low, what's going to happen? You're going to trap it underneath your partner's arm. So as I draw Lucy forward, my right hand goes over the top and I latch Lucy's hand onto my right hip. As I let go of my left hand, we will continue to change sides. Just offer your left hand there. Don't go searching for your partner's hand. Just offer your left hand out and then your partner will slide their hand down your arm into your left hand. We're going to finish with another return. So as we step in, we're going to return our partners anti-clockwise. And as we step back, we're going to offer our spare hand. So a double hand hold at the end, ready to go back to the beginning. 
Now, just a little tip for the followers. For this move, we're only actually using our right hand. So, as we go across, we're just using one hand. Try not to have the spare hand stuck down the side. So, what we want to try and do, uh, you don't have to do anything flamboyant, take it out to the side. The easiest thing to do is bring the hand up just at hip level, so it breaks up that straight line. If you want to, you can tuck it behind, you can bring it in front of you, but as you go into the move, just pick one of them that you want to try and do, and try not to have it just down by the side, because it makes it very hard for when your partner wants to do a double-handed move with you. So as we speed this move up, it looks like this. We step back, we latch onto the hip, we slide and catch, return, offer the hand. So what we're going to do, we're going to link the two moves together, our first two moves together. So we're going to start with our arm drive at the very beginning, push away, we've offered the spare hand. Step in, you twist left, you pull back, twist right, you pull back up to the shoulder. From here, we're going to turn our partners clockwise all the way around. When you face each other, lower the hand and step back. Step in to return our partners anti-clockwise. When you face each other, lower the hand and step back. So as we step back, the step back at the end is the first step back at the beginning of our man spin. So from here, all you do is you draw your partner towards you, hand goes over the top, latch onto the hip, slide and catch into the left, step into return, and we offer our right hand at the very end. So, if you're following along, we're going to count you in. We're doing the two moves together without stopping. We're starting with our arm jive. We're going seven, eight, arm jive back. We're twisting left, we're twisting right, up to the shoulder, turn our partner, stepping away, step into return. Now the man spin. Change places, slide and catch, return and offer the hand. So adding on our final move of this routine, it's called a Wurlitzer. On its own, looks like this. We're going to step back, flatten the hand, out to the side, give a spin and catch. Now, although I've caught with my left hand, you need to remember we will be offering our right hand at some point to go back to the beginning of the routine. So the Wurlitzer is another left-handed lead. So guys or leaders, you're offering your left hand to your followers right in nice and close, hands down at waist level and square on. Once again, we're pushing with the back of our hand into the heel of your partner's palm, both stepping back, offering the spare hand. So this is how we finished our routine so far. As we step in, we're going to flatten our left hand to about shoulder height. Try not to go too high, but just about shoulder height or just above, keeping hold with the right hand at waist level. From here, I'm going to push down and through with my left hand to turn our partners out to the side. I have a bit of a choice. I can either face my partner or I can turn out to the side myself. Personally, my personal preference is to face your partner. Now, from the follower's point of view, what you need to do is once you've been pushed out to the side, you're aiming to just go a quarter of a turn. It's very tempting and we see quite often as uh, followers turn all the way around two things are going to happen. One, that means you need to turn all the way back again. But the other thing is, if Karen was to pull down now with my arm behind my back, it's going to hurt my shoulder. So all I need to do is as I push down to go out to the side, I just need to make sure I go that quarter turn and then it's going to be comfortable on my shoulder for the spin. So and moving on from there, we're going to go into the spin itself. So the leaders, you're going to do a, like a short, sharp flick and a flick down. A bit like you're throwing a frisbee and you're going to be throwing this uh, your right hand down. Now we need a little bit of tension there from the followers because if there's nothing there, all you're going to do is throw the arm behind your partner's back. So we need some tension from the followers to give us something to flick against. So as I step towards Lucy, I'm going to flick down with that right hand, sending Lucy into a spin. When she spun all the way around and we found face each other, that's when I can offer my left hand and take a step back. Now, although I've caught left to right, we will be thinking about offering that right hand at the end, ready to go back to the beginning. So as we speed this move up, the Wurlitzer looks like this. We step back, we flatten the left, push through into the spin, step back and catch. So let's add the Wurlitzer to our man spin, which was our second move in the routine. We've, we're doing our man spin right now. We're left to right. We're pushing away. As we draw our partner into the man spin, remember our right hand goes over the top and we latch onto our hip. Let go, slide and catch straight down into that left hand. 
As you return your partner's anti-clockwise, you're going to offer the right hand as you take a step back. So as we're double hand hold here, we can step straight into that Wurlitzer, straight into that last move, flattening the hand, pushing down and through, ready for the spin, flick spin your partner, stepping back, catching left to right. I'm not going to worry about offering my right hand just yet. So let's put these moves to some music and see how we get on. So starting off left to right for your arm drive. Five, six, seven, eight. Arm drive. Back, twist, twist, shoulder, turn, return. Now the man spin, changing places across. Catch into your Wurlitzer. Flatten, stop at the end of the Wurlitzer and back. So as you can see, we're left to right. Going back to the beginning, we would pull back in and collect into the arm jive. So let's do it twice through, starting off with our arm jive. Five, six, seven, eight. Arm jive, back, twist, twist, shoulder, turn, return and back, across. Off of the hand, Wurlitzer, in, prepare, spin, back to the arm jive. Collect, into your arm jive. Man spin, changing places. Off of the hand for the Wurlitzer. Into the spin, and back. Now, although this was a bite-sized taster class in Modern Jive, if you're interested in learning these moves in a little bit more detail, or other beginner Modern Jive moves for that matter, just check out the links in the video description below. So until we see you in the next video, take care of yourselves, mind there you go. Bye, Bye for now.